Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You said he only came for his people itself. That's what it That's said. That's what it says in the Bible. Right. But I'm going to take you back to a verse. What's where the there verse? was a woman that went and she begged and pleaded. And she Matthew said, 15. Please, Lord, have mercy. Oh, my daughter. For my daughter is being tormented by a devil. By demons. Right. And he told her that I did not came for you. I came for my own people. Right. But then she turned around and she said, For you are right. But even a dog deserves the crumb that falls from his master's table. He turned around and looked at her. He prophesied. And he said, Look, 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 look. For now. Because she said what? She acknowledged she's what? She acknowledged she's what? Somebody come and look at this. She acknowledged she was look a what? This. What did she say? What did she tell Christ? A dog. She oh. acknowledged she was a dog. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Read on. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. The lawgiver is talking about Christ. So it's letting you know that in the last days, give me that in Genesis, I mean, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33 and go to Judah. In the last days, Judah would be the top tribe. That's why you see a lot of so-called blacks out here, right? Even over here about, around a bunch of so-called Hispanics, you see us out here because it said a lawgiver would come from Judah, right? Read that Deuteronomy 33. Go to the part about hear his voice. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 7. And this is the blessing of Judah. This is the blessing of Judah, the so-called African Americans. Read. And he said, hear, Lord, the voice of Judah. Hear the voice of Judah and do what? And bring him unto his people. Bring him to his people. It's Judah's job to go to his people and teach them the laws of God. Bring it just, out. just like you, brother, where you said it's we all one in Christ Jesus. What's your name, brother? Rocky. Rocky. I'm Zakar. Okay. I'm go to Galatians 3 because I want to deal because that's a, a stronghold that is on the blacks and the Hispanics because we all came up through Christianity. See? Whether it be Catholicism or Baptist, we all learned the same religion from the man that enslaved us. We all learned it. We know we, that's where we learned Christianity from. That's that's historical. We can't deny that fact, right? So now go to that in Galatians chapter three, what you was talking about, and we're going to read the verse you spoke of, and then we'll we'll jump up some. Read verse twenty-eight. This is the book of Galatians chapter three, verse twenty-eight. Yeah. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Ye are all. That's what you quoted, right? Now the thing is about us. We don't read in context. We take what we heard and we'll push it because it comes from them and it's politically correct. But let's jump up in the chapter just to see what is actually talking about. Give me verse 16 in Bring the same up. book. Read that. Verse 16. Bring it up. Now to Abraham and his seed where the promise is made. Now Abraham and his seed. Who was the seed of Abraham? Who came out of Abraham? He had an Abraham. Isaac and um, Jacob. Jacob and his name was changed to Israel right. it said to Abraham and his seed were the promises made it didn't say everybody else right now continue on he said not into seeds as but as of one but as of one now you just said it who came from Abraham what was his sons Isaac and Jacob, Isaac and Jacob. So it said the promises were to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and not to many, but to one. One. Now go to Romans chapter 9, and we're going to see the name, because Paul wrote Galatians and he wrote Romans, right? So we're going to get the name of that one that he spoke about. Romans chapter 9, and let's start at verse 1. Listen to this, brother. 
This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. So Paul is speaking on behalf of Christ. He is not lying about the Galatians. We speak it of who is that one in Christ Jesus. Read. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost uh -huh. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Now let's see who Paul has continual sorrow in his heart for. If it's for everybody or one people. Read. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen. My brethren, my kinsmen. Who was Paul's brothers? Who was his kinsmen? Who was Paul? What was Paul? Was Paul a uh, was Paul a uh, um, uh, Arab? Was Paul a Russian? Who was Paul? What race was he? Uh, Paul was uh, Romans eleven. A, a Jew. There you go. He so Jew. he said, "I got continual sorrow for my brethren." But he didn't say everybody. You want to know who he was talking about there? I'm gonna read it. You, I'm gonna I'm beat you to the punch. I'm gonna read it. He's talking to the believers. Watch this. We gonna read it. Read Romans 11, then we go back to Romans 9. Read that. It's the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. So that's the thought in Christianity that God did away with the 12 tribes of Israel. It said, God forbid. Read. For I also am an Israelite. Paul was an Israelite, that's like you right. said, a Jew. Read. Of the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham, like in Galatia, right? right, right. Read. Of the tribe of Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin is the so-called West Indians, right? right? So that's what he was. He's from an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, the seed of Abraham. Now go back to Romans chapter 9 and let's read verse 3 to get who he was talking about. If he was talking about those of the faith or if he was speaking about one people. Let's read that again. It's the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, the spirit, according to the flesh, according to the faith, according to the flesh. So he's talking about one people according to the what? The flesh. And he just said he was a what? What was his race? He's a Jew. He was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Those are his brothers according to the flesh. Now let's see what he speaks about his brothers that are not spiritual, not by the faith. He talking about you born from this bloodline, just like what's what's your race? What's your I'm, race? I'm gypsy. I ain't Puerto Rican. I ain't Spanish. You gypsy. What does that mean? Romanian. Romanian, right? You so your ancestors came from over there, got shipped. They came over here back in when? Uh, the early what? Back in the day, the early 1700s is when they came over here, right? So we're going to teach you because you might be an Israelite. So we're going to teach you what that actually means. Uh, read on in that. Who are Israelites? Well, what? Who are Israelites? Paul's not talking about my brethren according to the, flesh, uh, the faith. He said according to my flesh, and they are the Israelites. Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? That adoption that it speaks about in Galatians, that's for the Israelites. Read. And the glory. And the glory, that's for the Israelites. And the covenant. The covenant is for the Israelites, meaning the old and the new, for the Israelites. Read. And the giving of the law. What? And the giving of the law. The law was given to the Israelites, and if they broke it, meaning they would be in sin and would face the judgments of God. Read. And the service of God. Uh -huh. And the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh according the uh, concerning the flesh right read christ came he what christ came it just paul just said christ came for what people on the face of the earth right, who was who who are they the, 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 the israelites right. he only came for those people he didn't say he came for everybody else he came for those one people read who is over all god blessed forever Amen. And who was over all. Now go back to Galatians. So, before you go, go ahead. Go ahead. You said he only came for his people itself. That's what it That's said. That's what it says in the Bible. Right. But I'm going to take you back to a verse. Where What's there the verse? was a woman that went and she begged and pleaded. And she Matthew said, 15. Please, Lord, have mercy. Oh, my daughter. For my daughter is being tormented by, a devil. by demons. Right. Not once. 
but by many, right. by demons. And he paid no attention to her. And she kept begging and she kept So he begging. ignored her, okay. So the disciples told him, get her away. They ignored her too. I get like how away. you explained it there. Go ahead. Get her away. She's bugging us. She's on our back. Right. She's nagging us. Right. And he told her that I did not came for you. I came for my own people. Right. But then she turned around and she said, for you are right. But even a dog deserves the crumb that falls Jeez. from his master's table. He turned around and looked at her. He prophesied and he know said, for now. Because she said what? She acknowledged she's what? Faith. She acknowledged she's what? She acknowledged she was a what? What did she say? What did she tell Christ? A dog. She acknowledged she was a dog. You know what a dog is? What? A dog is one that vomits. It goes back to the vomit and eats. That's what we are. You know what a dog is? A dog is so another nation that can't come into the kingdom. No, no, but just because no, Christ no. healed her don't mean she gets salvation. Here's the proof. Oh, yeah? Revelation 22. I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah? Here's the proof. I, I'm not going to let my word speak. I'm going to let God speak that hey, even though did he she, healed her, she, that does not mean she get she salvation. What she asked for? Watch this. Let's did she what she asked for? Let God be true and every man a liar. Let's read. Amen. But it's the book of Revelation, read. chapter 22, if verse 14. Question, blessed are they that do the his commandment. Blessed are they that do God's commandments. Listen, Hector, where you going? Listen, listen, brother. Read. That they may have right no, 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 to no. the tree of life. I just told you. I'm not you what's your name? No, what's your name? I forgot your name. You what's your name? Answer. What was your name? Hector, that's, that's what are you talking about? I just called you your name, brother. My name ain't Hector, brother. So you lied. You called me Hector. What's your name? All right, read. And may and enter in through the gates into the for city. For without our dogs, for outside of what? For without our dogs, for outside of what? Pay attention, brother. Listen. And sorcerers, and sorcerers outside the kingdom is dogs. Now go to Matthew 15, 24. That's not the word of God. Listen to this. We're going to teach you, thus saith the Lord. You can believe in white man Christianity all you want to, but we're going to teach you what the Bible says. And from, and from that point, it's on you to believe what you want to. But we are going to read, thus saith the Lord. Matthew 15, 24. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the Bible. That's not us. Christ said he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But what Christianity teaches you is that he came for everybody by taking scriptures like Galatians 3 and twisting them. Go back to Galatians 3. Come on over here. We can talk. Come on over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going to go back to Galatians 3 and we're going to destroy it. Because there's been far too many lies pushed on the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who are the Israelites according to the Bible. White man has been pushing lies on black people for centuries. Since you bought us off of those ships, you've been pushing white man theology, and you got white people out, or, or Hispanic people out here thinking that they are you, because they speak Spanish. That is the language of their oppressors. That's historical fact. That ain't racism. That ain't hatred. It's fact. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, 
I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.